and who will kiss your rosy lips when I'm in a far off land. Family singing is the heart and soul of Jean Ritchie. Her lifelong interest of Appalachian music and heritage has led her back to the British Isles to reunite the singers and songs of two continents. Kiss my rosy lips when you return again. And it goes on, who will build a bonny ship and set her on the sea that I may go and seek my love, my own love, Gregory. And she goes off and sails all, all around and finds him. And it's a long, long song. They all die in the end, of course, but <laughs> so many of the old ballads were tragedies. Share with me some of your earliest memories of, of hearing ballads and being a part of this tradition. My favorite place was in between uh, my mother, who was nice and plump, and another plump sister, and they would sit in the swing, and I'd sit in the middle, you know, so I'd scrunch down in between. And uh, the lightning bugs were out there, and the, and the mist was rising off the river, and um, it was just, sometimes the moon would be struggling up through the mist. It was just a beautiful time. And uh, we called it singing the moon up. And uh, we'd sing about Lord Thomas and Fairy Ellender, and there she'd be riding through the mist on the horse, you know, and I could just see her so plain. And uh, and uh, then when she's lying in the coffin, I just, I, I'd feel that that was me, you know. I was, I was the heroine of the ballad. So as I understand it, ballads are often based on fictional things, but sometimes fact, actual happenings come into play? Yeah, I, I think maybe the fact ones came first that sort of started like a newspaper, you know, in the old days they had the penny broadsheets and they would uh, tell about an actual happening. Then they got to liking ballads so well that I guess people started making up situations and uh, and so it started in truth and it, it um, uh, went into um, storytelling and into making up stories. I also understand that you've done some collecting of the music of other musicians around the world. Down in County Cork in Ireland, we met a wonderful singer who knew just almost as many songs as Uncle Jason did, or about the same. She was about, she was considered the big singer in her family as Uncle Jason was co considered the big singer in, in the American, in our part of the family. Her name was Bess Cronin, or Elizabeth Cronin. And uh, we collected a lot of songs from her, and she was just a wonderful little chubby Irish grandmother with rosy cheeks and a, her hair, white hair piled up and a little bun on top and uh, uh, twinkly eyes, and she would just sing all night long. And um, we were so young and so thrilled at that time to be collecting and to be finding these ballads that my grandmother sang, and Bess was singing the same ones in a different way, and that was just wonderful. Well, my most favorite song that, that you've composed or written is uh, In the Cool of the Day. Will you do some of that for me? My Lord, he said unto me, Do you like my garden so fair? You may live in this garden if you'll keep the grasses green. 